Hi, today I'm going to show you guys how to rip a DVD using an application called Handbrake. The first thing you want to do is insert the DVD into your disk drive. Wait for the DVD to spin up and show up in Finder or on your desktop. While you're waiting for this, you can launch the application Handbrake. Handbrake should work on most versions of Mac OS X. 10.5 uh, through 10.7, it's fully compatible. <clears throat> okay, so today I'm using the DVD I Am Legend. Uh, it was popular a few years ago, and uh, I don't have it in my movie library, so we're going to try this. Uh, so first thing you want to do is, in the Handbrake application, click Source. You can see that the I Am Legend DVD has shown up in your device's uh, list. So you're just going to click Open, and Handbrake will scan the source. This should take... Uh, a few seconds depending on the size of the movie. One thing to note is that Handbrake requires an application called VLC Media Player to be installed uh, in order to rip DVDs. Uh, Handbrake used to include the hardware uh, compatibility of VLC, however uh, it doesn't anymore and so you're gonna need to install that. It's a free application so it's not a big deal. So what I've found when ripping DVDs with Handbrake is that you want to stick with an MP4 file. Uh, you want to change the video codec to MPEG-4. And you want the frame rate to be the same as the source. Um, in terms of quality, you want to set the QP to 1. If you go any lower than that, it's going to be a smaller video, however, the quality is going to be pretty lousy, and um, you want to have the best quality video possible. Uh, average bitrate uh, and target size are somewhat poor options. Target size is going to give you a certain file size, and average bitrate is just going to keep the video's bitrate constant. Now. These two might work well if you want to get a specific size for your video, however, in terms of quality, it's not going to be as good. So you can also select some audio. Uh, here we've got the English standard track, no need to change that. Subtitles, you can put those on. I'm not going to. Uh, you can if you want. Advanced only works with the X264 codec. Um, not really a big deal. You can change some settings in there, but again, I found that uh, MPEG-4 is, is the most reliable. Uh, Handbrake will also rip your chapters, so it doesn't give them specific names, however, it'll just say chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So once you've looked at all that, we're going to go and rip this DVD. So what you want to do is select a good file destination for this. Uh, if you have a small hard drive, you're going to want to save this to an external drive. So what I have set up here is an airport disk and uh, that's where this is going to be saved. Uh, my movie library already contains a few videos, so we're going to save it to that same spot. However, you can select wherever you'd like. Um, for the title, angle, chapters, just go with what it gives you as a default. Um, you're going to want to do the main chapters unless you're trying to get special features. So for instance, I Am Legend, that's going to rip chapters 1 through 27, and that duration is 100 and, uh, 1 hour and 40 minutes. So once you've looked at all that, we're going to press Start up in the menu bar here. And at this point, Handbrake is going to scan your DVD and it's going to give you a percent completed um, bar here. And you can also see what the frame rate is and uh, the ETA, all that good stuff. 
So at this point, I'm going to stop the recording and wait until this DVD has completely ripped. At this point, the application will go through a muxing process. Uh, this is just part of the file creation. It should take a few minutes, again, depending on the size of the video. Uh, so you'll see this candy cane bar at the bottom. It's blue. I don't know exactly what it's called. But uh, at this point, the encoding is almost done and you should have your video. Okay, so the encoding is finished and it's in our designated uh, save spot. So to import this to your iTunes library, it's quite simple. You're just going to take the file and you're going to drag and drop it into iTunes. Should take a few seconds and there it is. I am legend, you can play it. You can also add some more data, get info, add a different cover to it, all that stuff. So again, if you like the video, rate, comment, subscribe. Be happy to uh, create some more of these. So let me know if there's anything I could do better. Till then, see you guys later.